Now, let's talk about on demand. I'm gonna take us back. Let me turn it off so that way. This chart is just like my regular chart. If you're in Thinkorswim, now on demand works inside of Thinkorswim and you need to be in your live account when you do that. You need to be in your live account when you're doing Thinkorswim, okay? Because if you're in your um, sim, it's not gonna work. If you're in the paper, it doesn't work. It needs the real time, I guess, to work. Oh goodness, what are you doing? Okay, so when you're here, up here at the top right, I'm on the regular screen inside of Thinkorswim. Up here to the right, it says on demand. On demand, pick that. Now, the good thing about on demand is you, it can take you back to some place in the past, some time, day, whatever, where you can replay something that happened, right? Jamie suggested, I think you said Lowe's, Jamie. Let me see if I can find it again. Yep, Lowe's. Is it L-O-W-E is the, is the ticker? I believe so. It sounds right, I'll check. And tell me the date again that you said. Um, hold on a second. I was looking in the chat. Um, let's see, let's see. 2-23-22. Yep. Do you want to see how it performed leading up to it? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, leading up to it and afterwards, it would be great. Okay, so when I picked here next to on demand, I picked the, the date here. You can select this and then it brings up the calendar. So we're gonna look at February, February 21st must've been a holiday. <clears throat> we can put the, did it, it probably showed on the, at the end of the day. Now, this is gonna be based on the time frame where you live. So that's why you see these numbers are, this is what time the market opens where I live, is at 1730, which is 530 in the evening. And then you select go. And you're on the, see if at the top is doing some pre-buffering, but once you pick go, it puts the chart, in place, it has the chart available to you, the trades, you can go ahead and place trades on the, you can pick any, you know, ticker you're looking for. Basically what it's doing is replacing the time of that time in the market. So if you're on, we're looking at February 22nd at when the market opened is what time this is, or you can pick whatever time of the day you want. And you can change stop to stop, doesn't matter. Again, on demand is giving you the time in the market. And then you can look at monitor. So let's say you do enter some trades. Um, it, it will monitor those trades for you to let you know whatever you were thinking, how would it do? I'm not sure why this is taking so long. Go ahead, Jamie. It's L-O-W. That may be what's it's just going -O -W, on. No E. No E. Yeah, no e. There we go. I wonder what was taking so long for it to do something. Okay. So basically we're looking at lows. Looking at the chart. Bringing my pen in here. This is um, this is a daily chart. Uh, let's say you were look if you were looking at it more for that day, you're gonna change the time frame. You can change the time frame to whatever you want here and it's going to show you again it's going to show you the candles as things are going and it's showing it right to you real time what's happening hey okay you can have it go at regular pace with this play button where it's going at regular speed or you can do this um double here that makes it um, run in three second intervals Regular time is running just regular one second. And then the three, the going faster runs in three second intervals. That particular morning looked like, looks like things gap down. This was the opening of the day and it gapped down here. So it's just gonna run. And if you wanna jump, you know, if you wanna let it just play out, 
through the time you can. If you hit this fast forward button with the line next to it, it's going to step forward about 10 minutes. So you can step forward 10 minutes forward and it'll say, well, this is what happened, you know, in that period. It does reset the chart every time. So this whole moving it around, you have to do this every time that you reset it or you do something different to the time. So now we're, you know, 10 more minutes in, it is still doing its play to see what, what happened on that day. This is something you can use when you want to replay what happened. Maybe you got a strategy you'd like to play. Maybe you decide that you think, you know, at the market open, these things are happening every time with a particular stop. You may want to go back and see market open to see if it actually does that. If you want to thought, well, maybe I'm thinking I want to open my trades first thing in the morning and see what they do through the day. You could do, you know, you can go back and do, you know, this is a good way to back test some strategies. It can be a little time consuming because you're basically, the time is running. At this point, it's running at three second intervals. So it's running three times faster than real time, but you got to let it play play out or you know do the fast forward thing and jump forward in the minutes if you want to do that. But I find this to be a very useful tool. It has helped me to be able to practice sometimes with entries and exits and you know, watching candle patterns has helped me do some of those things. And I can, and I can do it like in real time, even, you know, okay, it feels like real time. So it gives you like, I feel like it gives me a chance to practice some stuff. So when it does become live, I'm able to, to recognize and do things quicker. Real quick, I just wanted to come on. This is our list of educator to trader. Wanted to come on and tell you and ask you, I guess, to like and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content that um, I create and I'm, you know, posting regularly, then go ahead and subscribe. That way you won't miss anything and you can be a part of all that we're doing here. Um, I'm a coach to sellers. I'm an option sellers coach. Um, if that's a vein that you don't know anything about or you want to know more about, then go ahead, subscribe and check us out all the time. All right. Thank y'all. I appreciate it.